Hello again. In this video we will explore what will happen to a mass, or you, if we are on a rotation, that is moving, around the sun. Explain the forces affecting you, or a mass on that rotation. We will also look again at the relative motion, inertial reference frames theory. Firstly, what will mainstream physics tell us, if we ask, why do I not feel any motion on Earth? We are told. Earth revolves very fast, at the equator you rotate at over 1000 miles per hour. The Earth's center is also moving around the Sun at 67,000 miles per hour. You don't feel any motion, because both motions are a constant. You, on the ground at the equator, are you at a constant velocity? No. You are on a rigid body rotation. The rotation is moving, that's translation. Rigid body rotation with translation physics, applies. Your motion will be the sum, of both velocities. So, what would happen? We will look at 7 hours for you, living on the rotation, that is moving. In 1 hour increments, 15 degrees of rotation. From 0 500 hours in the morning to 1200 hours midday. Tangential velocity is, 1000 miles per hour. Translation velocity of the center is, 67,000 miles per hour. You can use this vector addition tool, to check the numbers. Your velocity, will always be the sum, of both velocity vectors. This is basic physics. At 0 500 hours your resultant velocity will be, 67,270 miles per hour. Then 67,010 miles per hour at 0 600 hours. And so on for each hour. Your velocity on the journey around the sun, would be constantly changing. At 1200 hours, your velocity is, 66,000 miles per hour. The red numbers are the difference from the last velocity to this point. From 0 500 hours, to 0 600 hours, your velocity has decreased by, 260 miles per hour. Your acceleration is, minus 3.23 centimeters per second squared. To get an idea, of the impact of this acceleration. Fill a glass of water to the top. Now, move it 3 centimeters across the table, in 1, second. As we move forward each hour, your acceleration rate changes. We now need to add the two acceleration vectors for the 700 hours point. The first is for the centripetal acceleration, for just the rotation, 3.39 cm per second squared. The second, in yellow, is the direction on you, due to decelerating on the journey around the sun, that's 3.23 cm per second. Adding the vectors, the total acceleration on you is 6.6 .6 cm per second squared at this point, at 0, 0700 hours. This is the vectors, mapped out for 7 hours. A 100 kg person, would change in their measured weight, by 300 grams, in 5 hours. Now imagine, 100,000 kilograms of water. Constantly, accelerating, and decelerating.
the International Space Station. It orbits Earth, at 17,000 miles per hour, completes one orbit, in approximately 90 minutes. Its distance is 4,217 miles from the center of rotation. From point 0.5, to point 0.6, 15 degrees of rotation, it takes 225 seconds. The resultant velocity of the ISS, changes by 4,140 miles per hour, in that time. The acceleration of the ISS would be, minus 8.226 meters per second squared. Again we will add the acceleration vectors, at point 7. Just for the rotation, the ISS is accelerating at 8.51 meters per second squared. Now we add the acceleration on the ISS, due to its deceleration, around the Sun. 8.74 meters, per second, squared. We add the vectors. Resultant acceleration is, 17.2 meters per second squared at this point. From point 0.7 to point 0.12 the acceleration of the ISS would change dramatically. From 17.2 to 8.5 meters per second, in a very short time. The ISS would be flung into space within seconds. Anyone in it, would be obliterated. On top of all the accelerations, we have more. The Sun is traveling at a constant velocity around the universe. The Earth is going ahead, and behind the Sun. The Earth itself is constantly, accelerating, at a changing rate. Let's look at relative motion and inertial reference frames. The kryptonite physics video, and this sheet, ends, inertial reference frames. If A is different to C, and it is, how can A, change, when it's put in a carriage with wheels on? It cannot. Changing the relative two point, on this fairground ride, cannot, change the experience of the riders. The same as saying relative to the center or next to you on Earth, cannot change the experience, if you were on this rotation, that is moving.